Sabina Nessa was a 28-year-old British teacher at Rushy Green Primary School in Catford, London, who was loved by everyone. At just before 8.30pm on the 17th of September, she went on a five-minute walk from her flat along Estelle Road in South East London to a local pub called The Depot, where she planned to meet a friend. The authorities say that she was fatally attacked as she walked through Cater Park on the way to the pub. At around 5.30pm the following day, her lifeless body was discovered by a dog walker hidden under a pile of leaves close to a nearby community centre. Police announced on the night of the 23rd of September that they had arrested a 38-year-old man on suspicion of her murder. A man in his 40s had previously been arrested the day after Sabina's body was discovered, but was released after further investigation. The authorities also released images of a different man. They want to speak to who was captured on CCTV. He was in the area on the night of the murder. The images show the man dressed in grey pants and the black top, walking down the street, as well as a silver car he had access to. The authorities are tight-lipped during this early stage of investigation. They have not revealed how she was murdered, or the motive of the attack. The investigation into the matter is ongoing. 22-year-old Justine Johnson has been charged with murder after a young daughter's lifeless body was found repeatedly stabbed and then dumped in a garbage bag. At around 3.50am on the 17th of September, deputies responded to the home located at 5477 Cedar Lake Road in Oscoda, Michigan. After Justine's 23-year-old brother Nesley Johnson contacted them, he reported seeing a human foot jutting out of a black garbage bag. On inspecting the bag, the officers found the body of three-year-old Sutter Mossa. Her body was wrapped in bedding, and the trash bag itself had been placed in a blue plastic tote. She was only wearing a pink and white disposable diaper, and had multiple stab wounds. Officers interviewed Nesley, as well as a 17-year-old brother named James Johnson. James said he woke about 6pm on the 16th of September, went to a bathroom, and found his sister using illicit substances. He noticed that Sutton wasn't around so he asked Justine where she was before she started swearing at him and told him to mind his own business. He said that he then took a shower, and after getting out he noticed that Justine was no longer in the house. He said he then left the house at around 7pm to visit a girl, and upon returning to the home at around 10.30pm, his sister still wasn't there. While interviewing Nesley, he told police he arrived home about 3.30am on the 17th of September, only finding James there. He explained to the authorities that James told him that he found a human foot sticking through a trash bag, prompting them to search the area for their sister. He said he became extremely upset and called 911. The authorities went out searching for Justine. Eventually they located her at around 8.50am, walking along country railway tracks north of Vaughan Trail. They broke the news to her that a child had been killed. In response, the mother seemed unmoved and uncaring. They took her to the headquarters and tried interviewing her. She said she did not wish to talk about the death of her daughter. When the forensic team attended the crime scene, they noted that along with the body, there was also a sweatshirt and a pair of 11 women's pants with a notable amount of blood on the latter. Justine told the investigators that she wore size 11 pants. Both of Justine's brothers identified the sweatshirt found with Sutton's body as belonging to her, adding that she was wearing it on the 16th of September. The prosecution team said the motive of the attack is unclear. Justine's mother said the daughter loves Sutton with all of her heart and wouldn't do anything to harm her, adding she believes she's innocent. Justine's been held at the Iosco County Jail without bond and has been charged with Sutton's murder. If she's found guilty, she faces the prospect of life in prison.